Good morning all and welcome back to my channel. It's Thursday morning. Um, I've now completed my morning jobs. So it's coming up for, well, it's just gone like 9 a.m. this morning. So I'm just about to like drop off my parcels. Well, I'm just gonna go and get them from the lockup. Um, I've done the label, so I'll go and um, pick those up. Um, I'll show you what I actually sold. Not too many. It's actually definitely like slowed up for me recently. Um, not entirely sure why, but it is one of those things. I try not to like and let it worry me too much. But um, yeah, I'll give you a bit of an update. Um, more kind of sourcing today, um, and yeah, just like kind of more shenanigans. Um, so I hope everyone else is having a lot a really good day and uh, having a lot of the week is going well. Um, but uh, do like make sure you can like send me a message if you've got any questions. Always happy to answer anything you need. Um, as I say, like let's get on with it and um, get down to the garage. Right back at the garage again now. So I'm going to like pick and pack my orders. Um, I've got seven orders going out, not particularly high value, um, but um, I'll give you an indication of what they're uh, going for. But um, yeah, I've got my good neighbour just uh, doing some work. So if there's some banging and crashing, that's what he's up to. Um, but yeah, they're all like super friendly here. So I'm very lucky to like, be where I am. So let's get um, picking and packing. Right, so first one, which is a pair of um, combat trousers, some NATO combat trousers, 10761. Seven six one. There we go. Those just there. Anyone else have like issues like taking the uh, the sticky labels off of the um, poly mailers? I think I found a little bit of a like a technique. So it's just like a flick off the wrist. Um, so next we've got a pair of jeans by Super Dry, 11122. Super Dry jeans. Got a pair of Hackett chinos and trousers. One one nine six one. Kind of a stone colour, those ones. And then we've got a kind of vest top from Metal Militia, uh, 12066. Got another jumper by Reese. One two oh seven nine. Reese jumper. And then the 
next one, which is actually a double order. So someone actually purchased two items from me. So two pairs of chinos, one which is a pair of Rohan 9539. Three nine is there. That's that one, and a pair of Musto chinos eight nine one zero. Eight nine one zero. There we go. So that's that. They're going to go in the same parcel. And then the last one, which is a jumper. So it's a woman's Nike jumper. 9266. Nine, there we go. So, Nike jumper just there. Get that in the bag. <clears throat> right, and that is it. It's all completed. So, yeah, not many at the moment. Um, it's definitely not going to slow up. Um, so I'm going to have another look at it. See what I can like, improve, see what I can change. But, uh, yes, yeah, so that's it for the moment. Right, so that's it. I'm going to uh, go and drop these parcels off and I will then um, head out to do a bit more sourcing. Um, I'm probably going to do a few hours this morning and then get back um, and uh, do some photographs. But I'll, I'll update you like, if I pick up anything absolutely amazing. So, um, so yeah, let's uh, crack on. Right, just got back to the house, been sourcing for about three and a half hours, I think it is. Um, and yeah, only picked up, I think, seven items. So pretty disappointing, I have to say. Um, nothing can like really to sort of write home at. But uh, I'll quickly run through what I did pick up. Um, first one, which is a jacket. So this is a fat face jacket. Now, it is women's, it's kind of like duffel kind of style, um, and it is duck down and feather lining as well on it. Um, paid £5 for that one. Um, so, yeah, it is good quality. It looks nice. The right season for it as well. Um, so I thought I'd give that one a go. Then we've got a shirt. Nice br uh, bright pink so pink striped polo Ralph Lauren. So it's on the older style tag, that one. Uh, size large, paid three pounds for that. Looks in nice condition as well. It's got the kind of like embroidered pony logo on there as well. Um, nice size as well, so size large. All right, next we've got a quarter zip. It's by Musto. Not a sailing brand, this one. So it looks a little bit tired. It is a small as well. Um, and actually paid £4. Probably a little bit more than I really should have. Maybe like a pound, a bit too much. But um, I don't think that's going to hit my kind of £15 profit. But on all of these, I'm really struggling to actually get stock at the moment. So that may. But sometimes I'm just going to have to like go for things that will make a profit um so any profit at the moment i'm i'm gonna take um so yeah four pound for that one i'll put on kind of comps up here like actually how much oh, i've got another jacket all right so marmot i think so it's a bit marmot m-a-r-m-o-t kind of like windbreaker come what size is this one? You can see it. Uh, it's a size small again. Paid seven pound for that one. Nice waterproof one. It's got all its tags as well. 
it's quite a nice brand actually so that should do all right um and then we've got a pair of jeans fairly small ones not particularly big um this is seven for all mankind and they are the uh, straight leg do look a bit more skinny but it says straight leg on there as well um you can see the size size which is a 26 inch waist so probably more of a kind of like woman's or a young man's uh paid three pound for that one then we've got a jumper by Gant. So the embroidered logo on there. So it's crew neck, paid four pounds, uh, but it is like brand new with tags on there as well. Size medium. It's nothing kind of particularly can look like stand out, but nice to actually get it like brand new with tags. Right, the last one, um, I went to, well, I didn't go, um, I attended um, an eBay seminar the other day um, <clears throat> that was being held up in London. Um, I couldn't make the event, so I actually I kind of went in on um, a Zoom call, um, so I actually like, just listened into that. So it wasn't particularly long, about an hour and a half. Definitely could have been a lot longer. Um, there was lots of people who kind of wanted like, to know a bit more. Um, one of my good friends, um, Luke, um, who does uh, uh, Warder's um, Clobber, um, him and James, they actually have like a podcast on YouTube. So definitely check it out because he's super, super knowledgeable. Um, he actually went to the event in, um, in the flesh, but um, I couldn't make it. But one of the kind of categories that they were saying is very much underutilized, which is like children's clothing. Um, now, I don't think the margins are anywhere near as good as that being a business model. But that being said, I've started like having a quick look through the children's items just to see if there is anything that might be of interest. So I've actually picked up this. So it's a little, it's called a mini Bowden. Kind of like a, I suppose it's like, kind of like a hunting jacket, kind of like, I think um so years that's so seven to eight paid three pounds this is really like to kind of test the market just to see like they because they're saying ebay are saying that it's one of the markets that's really under you underutilized um so i thought i'd give it a go see if what the margins are actually like and see if it actually does sell um so that's what i picked up today only other things which i've got now is um i think i've got some vintage parcels so Let's compare for me picking up from the charity shop, which took me three and a half hours compared to like me going on the computer and picking some bits up from Tinternet. Right, I got five parcels to go through. Um, there is every possibility that one or more of these may be returned. So I have got returns like coming as well. Sometimes it's actually very hard to actually tell whether it's a vintage or whether it's a return because like the labels are the same. Um, so it normally gets used by um, Royal Mail Tract 48. So these are pretty much all, apart from this one, which I know isn't because this is from Yodel and I had to go and I like, collect this one. So might as well start off with this one. But it looks like a puffer jacket. Right, so first one, shirt North Face puffer jacket. So what I now need to do is double check to make sure it is all legitimate. All right, so this is a men's large. It's on there, you can see that. All right, are the tags good? Yep, tags look all good as well. So picking up. A North Face puffer jacket. I'll double check. I don't think it's actually a down jacket, but still. That's a nice thing for me to list. That makes me like happy that I've got this to list. Compared to like some of the other stuff, which hasn't been like brilliant. But yeah, that's a nice jacket, that one. That's the first one. All right, then I'm going to go on to this one. So not sure if it's limited or if it's um, a return. 
Right, just open it up. Right, this is actually, um, this is vintage. So I do remember this one. It's a very cool one, but it has got a defect. Right, so this is a hoodie, but it's a collaboration with Adidas and Star Wars. All right, so quickly double check the tags. It's a tag just there. We've got tags underneath. Yeah. So all looks good. It's got its tags, got its date tag, 2009 on there as well. Um, right, so let's see, that's the front. Back, you've got a big stormtrooper just on the back there. Very cool. Um, I did get it for a good price, but the reason being is because the zip, so it still works, but the actual kind of like the um, bit that you physically hold is actually like broken off. Um, so this is a collaboration. Like if this was in perfect, perfect condition, this would be worth a good amount of money. Um, so I've taken a bit of a risk on this one, uh, hoping that um, I'll still be able to sell it for like for good profit. Um, I don't think I'm going to really do anything with the zip. I'll just like list it as is, but. Yeah, nice to actually not spot something like that anyway. Star Wars collaboration with Adidas, even on the back. Stormtrooper's got the Adidas logo on there as well. Yeah, quite like that one. All right, next we've got a, a bin liner, blue bin liner, I'm not sure. All right, pair of jeans. What have we got here? Right, this is a pair of diesel jeans. I like my diesel jeans very much. So this is the iCop, I-A-K-A-O-P. What size is it? So 33 inch waist, 32 inch leg. Right, double check, make sure the condition is good. The bit that normally gets kind of absolutely battered is the hems and they look all good. Have a quick look to see what Sometimes, like if these are like kind of salvage, but they're not. So, another thing to actually just to see, see where it was actually made. Was it made in Italy? No, made in Morocco. Um, but still, should do like kind of good. I put what I paid for it up on the screen, and also like I put how much I think I get for it. But um, diesel jeans, yeah, I'm a big fan of those. So that's three vintage parcels just come through the door. Next one in a brown bag and bin liner. What have we got here? Have a look. Like this is a Fred Perry track top kind of jacket. All right, let's have a quick look at this. Now this is very old. So this is kind of like nice, like 80s, 90s potentially. I will do my checks on it, but looks in really nice condition. Tags, yeah, old, a little bit faded, but still they look good as well. Again, another nice kind of pick up um, on there, kind of like so quite retro, oh, retro colours as well, with the kind of the crest emblem on there as well. Yeah, another really nice one as well, like that. Um, you'll probably notice when I kind of put the prices up, actually how much I'm having to pay for it. So I'm definitely paying up without a doubt. There's no two ways about it. But um, to be fair, as long as the margins are there, and these ones I think will be a lot better in regards to kind of resale value, um, what I'll return back on them. Just like how quickly can I physically do that? Right, and the next one, which is actually a return. So this was a scotch and soda jumper, new with tags. Um, the reason for this return, which is actually doesn't fit. Um, let's have a quick look inside, make sure. It's still in good condition. Right, so yeah, tags are still on. So that's like the first key part of it. Do the Smell test, smells absolutely fine as well. It's not been worn, it's nothing. So I'm actually more than happy. And I will just pure and simply give the customer their um, refund. And I 
do have a rule that I'll actually get them refunded within, if there's nothing wrong with it, I'll get them refunded within 12 hours at the absolute maximum. So um, I think it's a nice kind of business thing to do. Um, they sent it to me like in reasonably quick condition and um, time as well. So I'm more than happy to like kind of pay them out. As soon as I pay them out, then I can get it back up for sale again. As well. So yeah, all happy with that. So that's it. That's everything I've got today. Um, I actually, I take that back. I completely forgot. I've got another two items that I picked up as well from the charity shops and I completely forgot about it. Right, so the first one, actually, I've got one from a charity shop and one which was um, from retail arbitrage. So I actually went into a, um, a shop. Right, so the first one, these are some kind of like crock come sandals. So they are by a brand called Teva, T-E-V-A, size seven, brand, still got brand new. Like they've actually still in their bag. Let's see if I can get one out so you can see it. Um, that's that. It's kind of a sling back. It's actually very cool. I think it's more of a woman's one, but still very good. Um, I don't know how much they are new, um, but paid three pound for these. So super happy with that. Um, it is really nice. I've just like realizing actually how nice it is to actually have brand new items. Yes, it's great to actually sell used items, but when you've got brand new, it's lovely. You know, there's no like issues with it. They're, they're not going to have any faults or anything like that. So, um, so yeah, that's the first one. And the second one, which was, as I say, like that, retail arbitrage I went into um Foot Locker and I bought a pair of trainers so these are a pair of feeler trainers these are like definitely like women's not very big size five but I thought they're kind of like that chunky feel to them retail price they were I think they were like kind of 60, I think off the top of my head. Let's see if I've got it on the side here. Uh, yeah, I think it was 60. Then it was marked down to 25. But then I actually saw it was on um, a special offer um, and I actually got these for 10 pounds. So I may actually like, even if they're kind of like, they stick around for a bit of time, 10 pound for a brand new like pair of trainers um, with the box. I probably would like put these up for close to 30, I think, um, and accept like an offers like a little bit lower, but still, that's, it's a nice thing to actually do. Like, and like, I don't have to, any issue for that. I can actually just put those, I've got the box, it will go straight into a poly mailer. All good. So I'll report back on actually how they do, if they sell quickly or, if I've still got these in ages, uh, in a long time. Um, right, so that's it for that part of it. And um, I am going to like move on to my next job. Um, uh, what have I got to do? I've still got to do photography, process all this, like, um, all this new stuff, stuff that's come in. I've also, unfortunately, I had like an issue yesterday. The washing machine actually broke down. Um, it had an error code saying that the motor, um, there was an issue with the motor. Basically, it was cream crackered. Um, so I've had to like order a new washing machine, um, which is never fun. At least I can put it through the business to some degree. Um, so that's going to be easily like kind of, uh, to write that off. But still, it, I've still got to pay for it. Um, and that's coming on Sunday. But uh, hey, the dramas. But uh, yeah. Let's, um, I'll carry on and uh, I'll update you a bit later. Right, I think I'm going to call that it now. Um, I'm going to kind of end the video there. Um, been another full on day. Um, I'm just about to go into some meetings now. So these are the um, UK call of the um, Tekken Sports reseller greatness um, group so I'm going to be on that and then I'm going to go on to a social media call as well so it's going to be like probably about three and a half hours of calls this evening so quite a full-on um, evening so definitely doesn't like, kind of end there 
Um, but again, hope you've been enjoying the week of vlogs. Um, I'm starting to kind of flag a little bit. Hopefully, like kind of like the content is still interesting. Um, I'm going like, to put out another one tomorrow um, at some point. Um, that may go like a little bit awry. Um, I am going to, unfortunately, one of my good friends, um, his dad passed away. So going to awake tomorrow. So maybe like a few drinks involved. Um, but uh, I'll try and get one out again um, as promised because I said I was going to do five. Um, I'll do that. Um, please don't forget to like and um, if you haven't already, subscribe because um, uh, it really does help. So again, have a great rest of like, your day um, and I'll catch you tomorrow.